Hey guys, Jedi270 here from Airsoft RX and TX911 Gear. What you're looking at are my three builds that I've been working on for the past couple of months. In the back is a WEDMR. It's got the nickel inner barrel. It's got the Troy TRX battle rail. It needs to have the outer barrel shimmed up some more to get that uh, flex out. It has a 3x9x40 sniper scope on top with shoot through uh, scope covers. It has a real steel CTR stock from, M uh, from Magpul and a MOE uh, real steel enhanced butt pad from Magpul. On the pistol grip you'll notice that is still the UTG. That is a uh, $40 grip and uh, the reason I didn't put the other one on her, the sniper grip, was because I was a bonehead and didn't pay attention to what I was asking to be sent me and it is a uh, AEG grip. So that will be going in the video of for sale or trade. Uh, knowing it's brand new, guys, so you know it's brand new. On um, the front is a Mad Bull Halo Gym Tech QD silencer. Those things are about $80 and get harder and harder and harder to find. They're absolutely beautiful. I love it. It's resting on the front end on an AMP tactical uh, 6 to 9 inch tactical bipod. I love that bipod. It's extremely lightweight. And what you're looking at is a tack driver of a sniper system. I've always wanted a gas sniper rifle, and the intervention at $2,000 is just out of the question. All these guns on this table are for sale, guys, if somebody wants to buy them, because I'll just buy something else and redo it. You know, I like working on them. Um, that DMR in the front, the gun alone was $435. Um, I've probably got about $550 in that rifle, or maybe almost right at $600 really, in that rifle, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, in the bottom here is the WEPDW, that's the Honey Badger, that I have been working on. This one has a Magpul CTR, uh, real steel buttstock. It has a UTG real steel buffer tube with a buffer tube mod. This stock does not fold to the side. It is now completely in a fixed position. It has a real steel MOE, not PTS, a uh, pistol grip. It has an enhanced Knight's trigger guard. Two magazines, the Thermold Knight's magazine in the tan and a black WE mag. It has a black anodized lower and a flat dark earth anodized upper. It has an AFG-1 by Magpul, real steel, nickeled barrel, and Knight's uh, flash hider there on the front. And it has Knight's front and rear sights on it. Okay, which I did not put that front sight on there yet, like a ding-dong. Okay. In the middle is the KWA LM4. Let's see if I can get, there we go. Alright. What's KWA got on? The WEPDW, by the way, is 485 The LM4 has $185 real steel Viltor E-Mod stock. Um, the I-Mod stocks are this type without the door and the mod stocks are this type with the fin that goes down like an LE stock and they're not as long nor do they have as nice a uh, butt pad on them. This one has a UTG real steel pistol grip that was about $45. On the top you have a GMP EXP uh, EOTech uh, replica. You have a real steel Embus flip up front and rear sights, the UTG LT EL228 tactical light has 230 lumens. You have the AMP tactical 12 inch Riz. Uh, this is the free uh, full float. And then on the front in honor of my boy John Rambo, we got the zombie killer. It's crazy man. <laughs> Bust his chops. It's a killer zombie killer man. Uh, that's a pistol silencer and it's a five inch and it goes all the way back to the middle. The inner barrel has been nickeled and um, 
Man, I love it. And this is a Tapco. That's a $40 vert grip on the front with uh, storage in the bottom of it. So this is what I call an MBR, a middle medium barreled rifle. I wanted something, SBRs, the short barrel rifles, are nice, but you end up killing a little bit of your accuracy and having to choke your inner barrel down and you lose some accuracy there. With a medium barreled rifle and the 12-inch Riz and the 5-inch suppressor, you're keeping your factory inner barrel and you're keeping the factory accuracy, all while actually cutting three inches off the length of that gun. Okay? I've cut three inches off the end of that gun. So I've made it a lot easier to maneuver with the adjustment of the Viltor buttstock. That rifle, as you see it right now, if you wanted the EOTech that's on top of it, the real steel Viltor stock, the real steel uh, UTG pistol grip, the real steel TAP covert grip, the real steel UTG TAC light, the Mad Bull Zombie Killer Suppressor, the real steel Embus front and rear sights on the top, you are looking at $680 on that rifle. Now that's also coming to you with three mags. If you want it, that's what you're going to have to pay for. Okay? And here's the reason why. If I sell this rifle, i got to have my money out of it if I'm going to be able to buy another one and rebuild it to the same specs this one is. You understand? Because that's exactly what I will do. I'll buy another LM4, more than likely either um, the regular LM4 or the uh, Magpul edition like Rambo's, and I'll rebuild it to the same configuration that you see it is now. Okay? Everything inside the gun is stock, steel, and kernels. Three max. So that's how much I'm asking for. Same thing with the WE DMR. I would have to build another DMR. So, you know, a lot of times, guys, oh, and one more thing. I would have to sell this one at that price because I'd be making another one because I'm killing myself on a field and CQB rifle. That's why I bought this, to build it into what it is. Uh, this is my go this will be one of my go-to guns. And uh, the WE Sniper will be when I'm playing Sniper. I also have an L96 with a 500 FPS upgrade kit already installed in the house that I've done in my woodland version of ATAX. You guys have seen it too. I'll sell it for $250. But that's what uh, that's what this is coming with. So I'll kill this here, and I'll start the other video of the stuff that is for sale or trade. Hey guys, let me know what you think about the builds, and have a good one, and God bless you.